This tutorial is about getting video off a DVD like this and importing it into Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2013 Plus, putting it on the timeline, editing that video, and then exporting it as a movie. You may also be able to copy it onto another DVD using Magic's. One caveat though is the DVD such as this can't be copy protected. If it's one you've rented, say, from a movie place and it's copy protected, uh, Magic's won't be able to import it. So that is out. This is just if you happen to have a homebrew DVD with some video on it and you want to get it off there. Or it's simply an unprotected DVD. Then you're okay. Now you might be able to burn it onto an, another DVD with Magic's, but I'm not covering that here. I'm just covering bringing the video off the DVD, editing it, and then exporting it as a movie that you might put on YouTube or just uh, watch off a computer or something like that. To get video off a DVD disc, you have to do the following. Go up to the Import tab, and if you've already placed your DVD disc in the DVD drive, you'll see an icon that looks like a DVD. Uh, what you do is go in and find the Video TS folder, which is this one, Video underscore TS. Now in there you'll find VOB files. These are actually the movie. The Video TS is more like a table to just hold the contents and the menus and so forth, so you don't really need that one. What you need is the movie files, which are videos underscore zero one underscore one dot VOB, and then the one underneath it here, which is number two. So what you do is simply drag the first one down onto the arranger in timeline mode let go of the mouse button and it'll ask you to either copy the entire disk or copy the movie. I usually click copy the movie. Now when you do that it's asking to copy it to your hard drive somewhere, copying it from the DVD to the hard drive. So I usually pick a spot where there's plenty of room, go into my computer here, and I'll put it on my P drive, and then you would click OK. Now I've previously done this to save time. So once you do that, it'll copy to your hard drive, and then go to your hard drive. I'm back here in the media pool. I'm going to my P drive where it was copied, and it's called image underscore DVD video recording. Now I'll click on that and you can see the two VOB files that are copied over. Just take the first one and drag it down here to the timeline, let go, and then you'll see it appear on the timeline. Now just uh, bring the next one in. So I'm going to grab the second one here, drag it down, put it behind the other, and now we've got both parts of the movie in there. Now there might be other VOB files that you can also put if your disk has more of them. Just bring them all in. And then you'll have the complete movie. At this point you could edit your movie. You know, maybe there's commercials in it or something you want to get rid of. And you can use the razor blade tool to cut out sections like I've shown before. And I will show again. But for now, let's just concentrate on the movie itself. Uh, this one has an interlacing problem. Up here in the monitor, you can see the interlacing looks funny. And some of them will have that aberration. So just highlight the section you want to affect, right click, go to Object Properties. And then under there, click on this uh, calculate Calculations of Intermediate Images. Just click on that tab and go down and click No Interlacing. 
then click OK and you can see the movie clears right up and you'll have to do that to each section so if I go to this section it's got the same problem so I'll just go to object properties again to the same tab and put no interlacing OK here now both movies have no interlacing once that's done you might have a problem like I have where there's a big black border around it. Well, to take care of that, you can go to Effects and then Movement Effects, Camera Zoom, which it's already in, I think. Let's see. Camera Zoom right there. Okay, now just take this marquee and shrink it down so it just fits around the movie. Now if you put that marquee around the movie like that, when you play it, you'll see it now fills the whole screen. Of course we need to do that to the other one too, because it's going to be have the same problem. And again, you can use video effects if you want to. Like I go to video effects, apply video effects to all, and it shows me what I'm going to apply, which is the different positions of the marquee and then I can just say continue and so now this movie's taken care of too so now both sections are now transformed to fill the full screen so once that's done and you're done editing your movie you can go ahead and export it and so just go up to file export movie and I usually like to export mine as MPEG-4 and then I'm going to pick uh, 720p which would be this one 1280 by 720 and then just go ahead and export it notice I've got export selected range only I usually just leave that checked and then I export and then it's going to probably take me quite a while to export that, maybe about a half hour or something like that. And I'll just wait for that. And that's all there is to it. Now, just in closing, if you want to burn the movie back onto a DVD, you can go up here and click on this burn button. And then just select uh, only one marker, only one chapter marker. And then it'll bring up the burn menu here and you can have a background like this or choose a different background whichever you want to do and then basically you can preview it if you want to to see what it looks like click it and find out how it works uh, you can go back to edit and change if you want to add a button or something like that. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail here. And then just click the burn button over here and you can burn your DVD. So without getting into too much detail I just wanted to show you that and you'll probably have to figure it out yourself by looking at the manual because I don't usually do this part but it is possible to burn the result of your movie back onto a DVD. Not sure what it'll look like, but that's a little bit of introduction to it. Goodbye for now, and we'll see you later on the tube.